According to news reports, the biker war in Missouri is heating up. Three clubs have been identified. There's more freaking house fires going on, retaliation happening. Not so good news in uh, the media today. Also, we do have some good news about some motorcycle clubs doing charities. Also, the troll Fauci is very upset right now that Sturges is going on. Immediately after the show, I'll be uh, over on the Morning Hoot with China Dow. Make sure you go over there, download the Insane Throttle Radio app. You know, listen to 24 7 music over there, baby. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Okay, before I get into the news for today, I wanted to address a guy that sent me an email. And basically what the email said was, Hollywood, why won't you use your platforms in order to advance concerns that we have about MCs being, whatever, patch police, whatever the hell he said. Here's the deal. I'm doing news, and on my other channel, I'm doing a lot of stuff that is independent, biker-related. If you want that kind of stuff, if you want creators to use their platforms for something like that, go ask the other ones. I'm not here for that. I'm not here to champion a cause. Uh, Only thing I'll champion is biker rights, uh, profiling, and stuff like that. I support NCOM, NCOC. That's about it. This is an entertainment platform. You gotta start realizing that's exactly what this is. Is entertainment. It is not to be taken as gospel, my opinions, or any of that type of stuff. I am not a crusader trying to change things. Again, the only thing I crusade with is, you know, biker rights and stuff like that. I appreciate you asking me something like that, but that's just not where I'm at. I try to present both sides, even your side, of the argument, and then it goes into a debate deal over on the comment section. But no, I won't be doing something like that. Ain't in my game, ain't in a game plan. You know, I wish people would understand this is entertainment where there's issues that need to be discussed and debated, but some people just don't see that. You know, Morning Hoot with Hollywood and China Dow, that is where the entertainment really comes in right after this segment. Uh, you need to hear replays of it on iHeart, Spotify, whatever, or you can go to the radio station WMMRDB Rockford, and it, or you can go to InsaneVoltage.com if you want to listen to the radio. But no, I'm not into that kind of stuff. So hopefully that answers your question. I would say go ahead and uh, visit somebody else's channel and ask them. Get into the news right now. This out of LakeExpo.com. And this has to do with the shooting that happened at a resort town in the Ozarks. Three motorcycle clubs now have been ID'd in Fatal Lake Ozark gunfight. It was updated just 21 hours ago. There was a second biker charged for this. Uh, Daniel Cutsenborn, 38, has been charged with unlawful possession of a firearm, Class D felony. And you know what? Hopefully he wasn't a you know felon beforehand because I covered that in actually another video uh, about Conan, uh, how people should get their rights back and stuff like that after they done their time. But anyway, uh, he they said authorities was one of several men who brandished a firearm and exchanged gunfire during the fight that killed one man and left four injured. Uh, He reportedly told authorities he had not fired a weapon as he was prohibited from possessing one. Oh, here he is. There it is. 
from possess one due to his criminal history. He is a convicted felon. However, according to the probable cause document, authorities say he was seen on surveillance video brandishing and shooting a gun during the battle. That is one thing nowadays, man. Everybody's watching you. Everybody's filming it. And it's like, you better get that understood. Uh, the investigators say all people involved in the fight appear to be affiliated with various motorcycle clubs. Uh, three motorcycles and club ID now were the Midwest Drifters. Galloping Goose. There's an old one right there. Galloping Goose, pretty cool. And the Mongols. According to the document, uh, approximately 7.44 p.m. on July 15th, about 10 club members, mostly members of the Drifters and Goose, were standing near the front of the Casablanca restaurant and bar talking. Then authorities say six members of the Mongols exited the restaurant from the front porch, and one of the members of the Mongols had words with some of the men, uh, and that's when the fight broke out. A couple uh, minutes into the fight, and this uh, I actually got a video of over on our Facebook page and saying throttle uh, of everything that went down. It's where all these supporters were going, hey, it's just fireworks. Get out of here, you morons. Uh, let's see here. Uh, a couple minutes into the fight, uh, authorities say a member of the Mongols later ID as Blaine Curley tried to strike a member of the Goose with a motorcycle helmet and then reportedly pulled out a pistol and aimed it at a Galloping Goose member. The Galloping Goose member, who authorities identified as Tonka Way Con Ponder, then reportedly pulled out his gun and shot and killed him. Well, you pull, you pull, man. Uh, at that point, according to the document, multiple people from the various motorcycle clubs began exchanging gunfire right in front of the restaurant. Uh, you can watch the video uh, in this. I'll put the link to, in the description box of the incident. And again, you to see it. And then it talks about uh, the city's re uh, leaders responding to the brawl. Uh, the whole nine yards. Again, three clubs that were identified in this were the Galloping Goose, Drifters, and Mongols. Now, back to Lake Expo again. This updated eight hours ago. Uh, it is as of today, 8-8-2021. Eight, eight, uh, uh, the feud heats up. Suspicious fire destroys home a man who killed rival gang member on Lake Ozark Strip. Remember the days when a homes used to be off limits? Uh, guess not no more. A second suspicious fire appears to have targeted one of the local motorcycle clubs involved in the infamous fatal gunfight on the lake of the Ozark Strip last month. It has confirmed that on Tuesday, August 3rd, the home of Tonka Wacon Pounder, who is currently facing felony charges related to the gunfight, was burned to the ground. He was released on bond on the 27th of July. The Preston Fire Department chief confirmed that uh, firefighters were called to the home at 36009 Highway 54 at approximately 1 a.m. and battled the blaze for around four and a half hours. No one was home at the time of the fire. No one was injured, but the home was a total loss. Here's some pictures of that and stuff like that. They go into the gunfight again in this article. There is one of the clubhouses that were burnt down and boy. Boy, does that give an excuse to everybody to talk about clubs being gangs and this and that. I actually recommend you going over to Shaggy, uh, his little corner over there, Shaggy's corner, and check out what his response was as far as motorcycle clubs if they're gangs or something i guess he got one of those uh emails hope you're enjoying them man i get them all the time 
uh, but he responds to one of them. Now, the guy that I call a troll, Dr. Fauci, tells Sturgis motorcycle rally attendees house crisis supersedes need to do what you want to, uh, but they didn't bring up Obama's birthday bash now, didn't they? As everyone knows, Sturgis is happening right now in South Dakota, and this is something that they did to bikers last year. They tried to pin it on them as a super spreader, but now, a year later, the Delta Plus variant. Now, that's the first time I've ever heard that. I heard Delta variant, but I guess they're using Delta Plus to m make it seem a little more scary. But he went on uh, that joke of a show by Chuck Todd and wondered if it was wise for South Dakota motorcyclists to assemble considering the context. He goes on to say, I'm very concerned, Chuck, that we're going to see another surge related to that rally. What you didn't put is there was only 300 and something that uh, came out of 400,000 at that rally uh, last year. And it goes on, Fauci chastises those attending the rally. You're going to get to do that in the future, but let's get the pandemic under control. When is it going to be under control? I ask you, how much more do they think people can take on this? This is a subject I cover a lot on the Morning Hoot with China Dow. It's almost a daily occurrence because it's always in the news. But they always going after bikers and right on T because of Sturges, they're hitting us. Now let's go to some good stuff here. The National Club helping homeless people in Harrisburg. This out of ABC27.com. Uh, Desert Knights of America, Berks County, traveled to the city Sunday afternoon to give out everything from hygiene products to tents and tarps on North 2nd Street. The Desert Knights is a group of veterans and supporters who serve as a support network to veterans in need, from homeless to those with mental health troubles. Quote, there's always been one of my things when I joined an MC to help the unfortunate people out there and the homeless because I always feel it can happen to any of us. Rock and roll, man. He is straight on on that point right there. And again, clubs do more charity. The biker community as a whole does more charity work than a lot of other civic organizations that you will see. Uh, again, Shaggy, he explained it real good about clubs and charity, how they take care of each other the whole nine yards. But you can see how it's playing out in the media right now with that Ozark stain. Uh, a lot more people are getting charged. Fire bombings are happening. What I say is you're giving people excuses to use the gang term. That's your stuff. This is the news. Don't forget to go over to my personal channel where I'm out of the studio. We discuss a lot of independent biker related stuff. Uh, screw around, do model vlogging. We do everything different over there on that channel. And don't forget to get our Insane Throttle radio app. If you got Android over on Google Play, you can listen to the uh, Morning Hoot with Hollywood and China Dow. Listen to Rock and Roll 24-7, the whole nine yards. Everybody loves that. Plus, go join our Discord server where you will be able to guess China Doll's panties during the morning strip tease. It is a ball. Get on over there now. Pass this around. Subscribe the whole nine yards. I'm outie, guys. Have a good one. Rock on.
Follow the Insane Throttle Radio app and listen to the hottest modern rock on the planet. No commercials at all. Just hard rock and roll, baby. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app for Android now on Google Play. Rock on.